What's up guys, it's Phone Tick Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at CM11 for your guys' Galaxy S3s and S4s. Let's get started. So let's start off by showing you that this is actually running the latest version of Android. If we pop up into settings and go to about device, you can tell that it is Android version 4.4.2. As you can see, there's the KitKat logo and there it says Android and then we get this little menu of all the different versions of Android so let me start off by saying right away that this completely changed the experience on the S3 and the S4 it was performing so much faster I couldn't even believe it so here I'm comparing it to the Nexus 5 and let's open up an app at the same time as you can tell the Nexus 5 barely comes in quicker than the S3 that I have right here and just to remind you the S3 is two years old the Nexus 5 was released two months ago maybe so that is pretty amazing that Sanjima did such a good job and how KitKat can actually be utilized on older hardware as they said it could be uh, as you can see everything is working there's no bugs with this ROM I am running a nightly the camera takes pictures fine and Everything is fluid and working, and as I said, it's a nightly, so it's being updated on a daily basis. So as you can tell off the bat, that I'm really impressed, and let's get into some of the features of this ROM. So if we pop up into our settings, uh, same way we did it before, we get a separate section for CyanogenMod settings, and if any of you guys have flashed ROMs before, I'm sure you're familiar with this. The first one is status bar under interface and here we could go and customize our battery percentage that's pretty much about it we can also double tap to shut down the phone or turn off the phone uh, then we do get quick settings panel this is probably where we get the most options you could go through customize the layout of your tiles how many you want there which ones you want and it's something you really have to play around by yourself uh, it's up to your preferences. I have my own preferences. You have your own. But definitely look through those settings. Also, under notification drawer, you can enable the older toggles that we got before, as you can see. I didn't really enjoy this. I like the new ones. Uh, there's still problems with the new toggles, but better than the old. And under that, we can also enable expanded desktop. So when we hold on to our power menu, it will show up and basically it allows you to remove the status bar for the S3 and the S4. So then we get lock screen settings and here we get some more options uh, customizing our quick toggles in the set, uh, lock screen menu but I don't I like to keep it simple and of course we could also customize the C clock which is a custom Sanjima widget that we could add to our lock screen and then we get themes this is basically what we're used to you can install themes from the play store and apply them from there after that we do get a button section here we can go and customize stuff like our power menu which is really important so the power menu setting is right at the top and if we open that up they give us they give us some more options to choose from if you want to play around with that and then we can also go and customize the actions of our menu and back button so I don't think you could change them fully, but you could change the long press options. And that's also another useful tweak if you want to enable some quick tools from clicking your buttons. After that, we don't really get that much more. We get a display and light section here, which allows us to customize our LED light and daydream option, which comes with Android. As you can see, we do get KitKat features like tap and pay and also a printing section. So that was really cool that those are still included. And if we go back to About Phone and click on the bill number, we get another option of settings under Performance. And if we go under Performance, here we can go and customize our CPU. We can make it, we could overclock it, underclock it, depending on what kind of battery performance you want or speed. So if you guys want to download this ROM, I'll have this link down below. And basically, this supports all the S3s and S4s. On the left side of the website that I'll have below, you can go through and look through and find your phone because 
if you're watching this video it's somewhere there for the s3 and s4 they're all supported as you can see so guys go install this rom i highly recommend it and you also do need to install gaps i'll have a link down below for that too you just flash that right after the rom and it does have to be the kitkat gaps so i'll have both links down below for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe for more s3 and s4 coverage and just other android goodness guys i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching